In this video, let us try to learn about the unitary method using examples. Now let us look at this statement or a, or, or a scenario which does happen in day-to-day -day lives. Whenever we go uh, to a shop and typically the prices that we have, they are normally in some number of units. We do not know the price of a unit. So for example, you go to a shopkeeper and he says that there are four notebooks for 80. He doesn't tell you the price of one. And you are supposed to calculate how much does it cost for a single quantity. So the example here is John purchased four notebooks for rupees 80. What is the price of one notebook? So it is straight away. What we do is the total price, total price is 80 rupees, right? And the price and how many he bought total price 80 for four notebooks so if I want the price of one notebook I just need to divide the total price by the quantity therefore the price of one notebook of one notebook costs 80 by 4 which is 20 so one notebook costs rupees 20. Okay. Now let us look at one more scenario like that. A scooter requires 2 liters of petrol to cover 80 km. I am interested in knowing how many liters of petrol is required to cover 1 km. Okay. So we can say that in 80, 80 km is covered in 2 liters. Okay, so now if I just want to calculate in one liter how much is covered, so we simply divide this 80 divided by 2. We simply divide the distance covered in 80 kilometers, which is covered in 2, so we get 40. So therefore, in one liter, the scooter will cover 40 kilometers. So this is essentially what a unitary method is and it is very useful. So let us just revise what we learnt. In this unitary method we just find the value of one unit and then we use this value to find value of other units. Okay. So in that case if we take our previous example where we said that a scooter requires 2 liters of petrol to cover 80 kilometers. How many liters of petrol is required to cover 1 kilometer? Now this was a straightforward thing but what if you were asked that I want to cover 160 kilometers. How much petrol do I need for that? Right. So for that we need to know how much petrol or how much distance will be covered by 1 liter. So what we have done we found out 40 kilometers and I know that 1 liter gives me 40 kilometers so if I want 160 I will need 4 liters of petrol. So this is one way in which we use the unitary method. So in the next video we will be discussing several examples which use this unitary method.